Okay, thank you. Are you ready to go beyond our conversation? Yes. So my first question for you, Faith, is what is the best advice that you've ever been given? Oh my God, the best advice I've ever been given is from my dad and he always said, listen to your body. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, it tells you everything. It does. Okay. Faith, what is the hardest thing you've ever done? I think you have <gasps> that in your episode, but like, let's let's hone it in. Yeah. Um, whoa, the hardest thing I've ever done, and I'm still learning, letting go. Yeah. I mean, because I've had to let go of relationships and family members, and it's never easy. And now I'm I'm letting go of a, a life that I had prior to COVID. And yeah, that's tough. Yeah, it is. Letting go is not easy. <laughs> okay, everybody. <laughs> and on a lighter note, and it's funny you kind of answered some of this in your episode too. But cool. If you could bring one book, one item of food and one beauty or makeup item with you to a deserted island, what's in your suitcase? Okay, so the book is The Prophet because it's some a book that someone gave me, one of my, my mom's friends who was also a, a tutor for me. Um, the food, oh my goodness, water. Is that food though? I don't know. Is that, I mean, it's endless supply, but I guess if it's something I need to chew, would be an apple. Okay, fine. I love green apples. Like, I'm obsessed. All right. Fair. Fair. <laughs> fine. And, and then what's, what was the other thing? A beauty or makeup item. Oh, the beauty or makeup item is, is lip moisturizer. Like, I'm, with it's, I'm so, it's so important. Plus, you can put it on and still look good with no makeup on. You could. And if it's, if it's the right lip moisturizer, you could actually use it on other parts of your body probably. Exactly. Right. Okay. Great. Okay. Well, Faith, thank you for giving us the chance to learn a little bit more about you little mini episode. For more information on Faith, head over to faithhunter.com. And thanks for hanging out with us, everybody. Okay, so um, even though we're still recording, now we're going to talk about this next section. Cool. Um, so my editor will know. Hi, Christy. Um, <laughs> you're going to be editing this part out. Um, okay, so Faith, this is the part that's going to be cut into that first episode where we're talking about the going beyond movement. Mm. So um, if you want, we can quickly look over those questions together to just inspire what you may yeah. want to share. Um, so it said, um, upon reading the description of the going beyond movement, what does it bring up for you? How would you say it in your own words? What are the ways in which you're going beyond in your daily life? Um, in other words, what are the ways that you're using your platform for growth and change? How are you moving past titles, norms, expectations? Um, what are the causes that are most important for you to use your voice for? Um, and then like the daily practice of going beyond, you know, perceived definitions of yourself and going to that next place. Um, that's kind of what it's about. So uh -huh. as far as you speaking, um, it's like, it's almost like I'm not here, but oh. it, you could be like, my name is Faith Hunter. I'm the founder of blah, blah, blah. And um, when I'm thinking about this idea of going beyond in my life, to me, I think about like, you're talking like, this is what it's been. And you can refer to these yeah. questions to guide what you're saying, but you know, five to 10 minutes, however long it takes for you to kind of express some aspect of this. Beautiful. But it's like, I'm not here. <laughs> awesome. But if you want to take a couple more minutes and read through that language again and like sit with yeah. it, uh, my next call is at four. So we have time. Oh, okay. So, you know, I do have a quick question. So what, um, what inspired you to like, do the shift? Um, 
I just felt like what I was starting to naturally talk about was much more um, like critical to what the world needs. And it was about that if we can't sync up with our personal vulnerabilities, our personal authenticity, um, if we can't get open in our conversations and connect with people in a real way from that place, then how do we expect you know, the work to happen in the world. And so I started to make that bridge of what going beyond um, in your life meant and why it was a movement. It's a necessary movement that's personal. It's a personal movement, but it's connected to the work that we all need to do for the world to go where it needs to go. Um, So that's sort of the philosophy piece of it. How I'm doing that is it's coming through these kinds of conversations. It's coming through these now virtual events and connective points. Um, I'm doing more like mentorship work with people. Mm. So it's starting to like come out in these more um, tangible spaces. And then the, the final piece that's more personal to me is that I feel like I'm continuing to go beyond a lot of assumptions about me. And about who am I based on my past, what I look like, what I've inherited, um, what it means to have biracial kids and be a white person. I mean, there's all these like definitions that I think for a long time I was scared to kind of like push past or redefine. Mm. And I think that that work has allowed me to start holding space for people to do that for themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So proud of you. Oh. Girl. Girl. I, I was like, you know what? I have this mascara on. I can't keep like crying. Oh, okay. one more thing we need to do. Don't let us hang up without me taking a picture of the two of us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that after we. Okay. Okay. Got it. All right. Just I'm talk. Just... You're so good at just speaking heart so like if you again if you want to take a few minutes to just read yeah. like add yeah. but no that's okay um so i need to introduce myself i'm, I'm guessing because i will also record little introductions for each person but just oh, okay come faith cool. hunter <laughs> hi there my name is faith hunter and i'm a yoga meditation instructor a spiritual guide um an energy shifter and mover And I am the creator of Spiritually Fly, as well as the owner of Embrace Yoga DC and Embrace Ohm, based in Washington, DC. Oh oh my goodness, the the going beyond movement and the going beyond philosophy really just resonates purely with, with my soul. Because as women, Oh my goodness, I, I was watching something about RBG and, you know, how men have to get off, their feet have to get off of our necks. Um, but it's not just men getting off our necks. We have to get out of our own way. And yes, we have to move forward and create and shift the lives that we truly desire. And for me, that means that I have to go beyond my own personal limitations. Yes, the world is going to put a variety of limitations and stressors and make every effort, especially as as a Black woman living in America, the world will try to suppress me. But it's up to me to not allow that to happen. And I think that This movement is about inspiring other women and uplifting women that are already in the trenches doing that and saying, you know what, we're in this together, regardless of who we are. We can create a shift and change in a better world for ourselves as women, but ultimately for the future of our children and our families and and our community and our neighbors and our world. But if we don't push past the confines, then the world will forever be on our necks. 
And sometimes that's going to create a tidal wave that's going to break down and sometimes burn away things that are going to be painful. But when that happens on the other side, it's, it's going to be a beautiful day. And it may not even happen in my lifetime, right? Where, where we're seen um, as women as truly equal, where, where people of color are seen equal as everyone else. But if I'm doing the work right now, if we are doing the work as a collective right now, then I know for a fact the future will be better. 